It's 7 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day. Also in the wake of tragedy, of course, come charities that are asking for your donations to help them help the victims. But these days, you really have to be careful and know exactly what you're clicking on, and whether or not it could be a scam or a virus. And Tom Jelnick with On Target Web Solutions is joining us this morning to talk to us more about that. Good morning, Tom. Always good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you guys. So listen, this is obviously a very serious situation. A lot of people want to help in a time of need like this. But what should we be looking out for so that we're not impacted negatively? Well, these tragedies really do bring out the best in, in the American spirit and we have this desire to help but with social media on Twitter on Facebook on Google Plus uh, you know scammers and spammers alike are trying to push stuff in front of us to get us to trick us to steal our identities so what should we be looking for what are sort of some of the red flags red flags are just kind of random links that say hey donate here you click it and one thing to really look out for Amy if you don't see an s at the end of your, at, you know at the beginning of the HTTP it means that page isn't secure. Mm. So what they do a lot is they mimic an actual charity's website to trick you into giving your, your information. All right, so what do you need to do if you see something like that come into your inbox or you see it on your Twitter feed or somebody sends it to you maybe? We get a lot of them sometimes in those direct messages on Twitter. I say first and foremost, never click anything you didn't ask for. So if you get something in your inbox that says donate here, donate here, never click that link because if you click it, Oftentimes, it can infect your computer and be gathering private data, you know, as you move along. So what can we do to protect our computer before this ever happens? Great question. So make certain that you keep your antivirus software up to date, and that's, that's mission critical. Uh, so run those updates and let your machine do, the, work, do the, you know, the rest of the work there. And I guess really the best advice is if you want to donate to a charity, seek out that charity. Go to the Salvation Army page or go to the Red Cross page, right? Stick with reputable ones, you know, Red Cross, et cetera. So I know, you know, with this Boston, you can go to boston.com and find a whole bunch of reputable charities uh, that will directly help these folks. All right, Tom Jelnick, always good to see you. Thanks see so much you. for coming in and talking to us this morning. Thank you. Yeah, great advice. Something, unfortunately, yeah. you always have to deal with following yes. these tragedies. Yeah, and we do want to help, and sometimes in our in our quickness to try to help, we mm -hmm. end up getting ourselves in Get trouble. Get burned. All right, uh, again,